Here it is. This is the latest from D Smog. D Smog usually does uh, wonderful work. They uh, used to be called D Smog Blog until people stopped talking about blogs. <laughs> I don't know when that. I don't quite understand that shift. It was like everybody needs a blog. We have to have a blog. It's got. Do you have a blog? And we all ran around going blog. And we were just saying that stupid sound over and over again. And then somewhere in the last like seven, five to seven years, everybody was like, oh, those are just websites. Just you don't need to say blog. You can just say I have a website. So anyway, D smog revealed fossil fuel giants are using British influencers to go viral. Oil and gas super majors, including Shell and BP, are using UK influencers to push false solutions to the climate crisis and manufacture a more family-friendly image. Which is like the CIA. Ah, everybody's becoming family-friendly, aren't they? The influencers have included a popular former BBC presenter, a polar explorer, explore, explorer a polar explorer, and an exasperated father of five who needs a break, and he finds it in the form of BP's rewards app. Dude, if I were a father of five kids, and I'm just, I'm at my wit's end, and I want to murder at least four of them, I can tell you what wouldn't save my day is BP's rewards app. Anyway, the campaigns have been deployed across a number of social media platforms and a part of a global effort to give, quote, Millennials are reason to connect emotionally with oil and gas firms and to tackle their perception as, quote, the bad guys. D. Smog analyzed examples of more than 100 influencers being paid to promote fossil fuel firms worldwide since 2017, from the U.S. to Malaysia, in campaigns that have reached billions of people. Our analysis uncovered promotional material from two PR firms representing Shell, boasting of the success of their online advertising. One of the PR companies claimed that the content fronted by UK inventor Colin Furs reached nearly a billion people, while another claimed that a campaign with explorer Robert Swan, OBE, made Shell's audience 31% more likely to believe, unquote, that the oil company is, quote, committed to cleaner fuels. I love that they are even like, even in their internal documents, they don't say, Hey, we're committed to cleaner fuels. And now we're getting people to believe it. They say, we've gotten people to believe this thing. That's not true. We've gotten people to believe that we're working towards cleaner fuels when we're totally not. And our quote unquote, cleaner fuels are not cleaner. And we are, fucked and we're fucking everything and we're awful and we're sociopaths and we're the worst. We're just the worst of the worst. Oh, God. Uh, but with this new social media campaign, we got a few people to believe that we're good guys. Yay, we're the good guys. This comes as major polluters are increasingly deploying digital tactics to detract from negative headlines about their, quote, record profits and decades-long contribution to climate change. In 2020, leaked internal documents from BP showed how the firm sought to reach influencers in order to become, quote, more relatable, passionate, and authentic and win the trust of the younger generation. Oh, God, these people are horrific. I, I didn't even realize when I put this in here, but this, this is a theme of this episode, is horrific entities trying to brand, woke washing themselves, trying to brand themselves as either, you know, open to diversity or cool or trying to clean up the planet. Just these are the worst of the worst. And they're paying people probably inordinate amounts of money in order for those influencers to uh, to to tell us that everything's okay, that these are the good guys, that they care about you, that they're clean, that they're gonna bring you clean fuel, they're gonna fix the planet. No, they're fucking not. They're not. Okay. No matter what you see from some stupid influencer, big oil ain't doing shit for you. Okay. You need to know that. 
They are destroying this world. The climate emergency, climate crisis, whatever you want to call it, is goddamn real. It's happening, and it's spinning out of control to the extent that the goddamn jet streams may shut down soon and the, the, the ocean currents that have traditionally kept this world uh, over the past 100,000 years in a somewhat livable level. Uh, yeah, they're all going to shut down, and then we'll just see what happens, right? Um, anyway, this is, I'm glad there's people doing this type of investigation because your mainstream media would never do this. Uh, I know that you guys uh, probably understand this, but most of these things, most of these stories I cover when there's another, there's a deeper point to it, which is one of the deeper points is that there's a reason you aren't hearing this on mainstream media. There's a reason this is not, uh, not even on NPR or any of those super Libby liberals. Uh, stations, you're not hearing these reports. NPR, you'll hear it. They'll actually say this episode is funded by Chevron, Shell. That like they are funded by these horrific entities, the Coke industry, the Coke brothers. Legit, I know for a fact the Coke brothers was one of them that actually does or did fund NPR. Uh, Chevron, I believe, was another one. It's either Chevron or Shell. Um, these are not, and they're not that hidden either. Like they say them at the end of episodes. They, if you go to their website, you can often find that they're funded by these things. And yet they're the liberals, right? They're the claim to be the progressive station. Meanwhile, they're essentially not saying anything bad about fossil fuels. Very rarely because they don't want to, don't want to harm their sponsors. Don't want to harm those people paying the bills. Uh, here they show some of the influencers. A picture is worth a thousand words. Robert Swan returns to base camp at the South Pole Energy Challenge team. Marches on. What is the point that he's cold and that, like, he's cold and shell showing you that people are still cold? <laughs> like, what? The, the polar explorer promoting shell? Uh, this is astronaut Tabby official. So this is official astronaut. I am so excited. Shell ad partner. T they, she hashtagged ad shell partner. I'm so excited to announce that I'm partnering with shell to share the awesome ideas that America's teams are presenting for pitch the future part of shells eco marathon. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you? You think this is somehow positive. Uh, Rod, Rod, Radika official, which has 3.9 million followers. I don't know who she is, but, uh, if your feet don't follow your heart, are you moving forward at all? Kudos to shell for their newish initiatives that have reminded me to glide with my dreams. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking... uh... So they have the list of uh, some of the uh, UK influencers that have that are being paid by fossil fuels. But I mean, I don't know them, but I'm also not in the UK. So maybe those of you in the UK would uh, notice or recognize those names. 